Welcome on back to Skippers. Unfortunately, I had a pretty tough go with COVID this past week. But I'll be back in the office on Monday. I'll have a buy low for you guys. I know you guys want that. I'm sorry about it. But we're going to get into these players for week 12, the deep ad edition. First player this week, Jaron Duran of the Red Sox. Outfielder, 11% rostered, 297 average, no homers, two RBIs, eight runs, two stolen bases. So Jaron Duran was a guy that I loved last year. He had some struggles when he had his first in the big leagues, though. But we see spring training come along, start of this year in the minors, some swing changes, and he seems to be th- figuring things out and carving out a role for himself every day in this big league lineup. He's cut his K rate down almost 10 points since last year. His launch angle is up almost two degrees, and his expected batting average is up almost 80 points from last year. So saying Jaron Duran's kind of like a slash and run player, I just don't think is really true and is downplaying how good he is with the bat. You look at his like uh, where his hits have been this year. I don't spray chart. That's what I was thinking. Spray chart. All of his singles are the opposite way and everything he hits for an extra base hit is pulled. So, I, I mean, you will say he slashes it a little bit, but I think he's a really talented hitter at this point. He's in the 94th percentile on sprint speed and he should help you in the stolen base category. Yes, his two stolen bases have come in the same game, but I think he'll get some more leeway to run the more he's up in the big leagues. He's been hitting over 300 this month. I believe the Sox will keep in because Kike has kind of struggled as much as he has. So I think he's going to be a spark plug kind of wherever he is in this lineup. I think he's just a better option than like Jackie Bradley Jr. too, right? So him over Kike and Jackie Bradley, I don't think is really an issue here. I think he needs to stay in this Red Sox lineup, and I think you should kind of pick him up if you need some outfield help. My second player this week is Oscar Gonzalez of the Guardians, 7% rostered. Right now, he's hitting 330, two homers, 13 RBIs, 12 runs, and 854 OPS. So you'll really want to get to the wire early on Oscar Gonzalez this week because Yes, he's 7% rostered on Yahoo Leagues right now, but he has eight games this upcoming week. Now it's two homers and 13 RBIs and just 96 at-bats. This guy is an absolute freak. 6'4", 240, with 92nd percentile sprint speed and 91st percentile max exit below. So I think it shows that the tools are there for someone who's been really good. He's had nothing but hits since he's been up in the big leagues. Uh, he needs to be added in deeper leagues. Absolutely. And I think you should stream them at least if you need some outfield help as well with some home runs, some RBIs um, in some 12 teamers. So if you need help in the outfield, another guy to look at, he's different than Jaron Duran, but also Gonzalez. Third player this week is going to be Ken Giles of the Mariners. 7% rostered. Oh, no. No ERA. One innings pitched. One strikeout. Uh, this is from CBS Fantasy. I was reading up on him today. So Giles may or may not be in the Mariners' close may or may not be the Mariners closer before long. The Mariners have refused to settle on a single option in the ninth inning, but it's worth remembering that they signed Giles to a two-year contract, knowing he'd missed the first year following Tommy John surgery. Giles was, of course, quite a good closer for a while, racking up 115 saves with a 274 career ERA and a 1-1-1 whip prior to his injury. He was re- reinstated from the aisle on Monday, and he steps into a situation where Diego Castillo and Paul Sewell have split the past four saves for the Mariners. So Giles is strictly like a speculative ad here, but I think he should get a shot at the Mariners close role in the near future. I'm a guy who just lost um, the Bears. Why can't I? Liam Hendricks. And I look at my wire and I see like the Lou Trevino types and all these kind of shitty closers. And it's like, what can I really do? Because they're not actually getting opportunities. So I think if you're a guy like that, who's lost someone, good and you see no one on the wire i think it's a ch- uh you have a chance on ken giles here who's a guy can rack up saves who's done it before i'm going to be taking a chance on ken giles if he gets this chance i think he is going to get a chance to close games here for the mariners so oh, pick up ken giles and finally my fourth guy this week he is a stash of a player brian bayo of the red Sox, starting pitcher five percent rostered in double a AA and triple a so far this season eight and four two four three era 99 strikeouts 1.01 whip in 74 innings pitched. Now that the Red Sox kind of figure things out. They're a good team. Like kind of thought that they should be. Um, I don't know how much longer they're going to keep trotting Rich Hill out to the mound when they have an arm like this in AAA who's already on the 40-man roster. The Red Sox pitching coach said that anyone that's in AAA is close when he, they were asked when he was asked about Brian Bayo last week. And since that, what has Brian Bayo done? Uh, just seven shutout innings. I think he punched out seven as well. Uh, he can run his fastball up to 98, and he has a two-seamer that has led to an elite ground ball rate. 
He pairs that with a great changeup and a slider, which has him with a swinging strike rate that would actually lead the majors at this point. Brian Bayo is a super talented arm. I think kind of what the Red Sox are looking for at the deadline is all their players coming back instead of going to get people. I think the way they could bolster their rotation is not go out and acquire someone, just call someone like this up. I think he's got a chance. They had said if he's in AAA, of course, he's got to be close. So I'm stashing Brian Bayo at this point. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm sorry I had to do this from home. I'll be back in the office next week. Don't forget to subscribe, join the Discord, and I will see you guys next week.